Hi everyone, today's recipe we're making ginger cookies. Now they, these are of the soft variety, not the crunchy kind. Uh, these are soft and chewy and delicious and they are packed with ginger flavor, lots of it. So we're using fresh ginger, ground ginger and crystallized ginger for a nice, I mean the flavors are just you know spectacular. So if you love ginger, this recipe is for you. And I'm also gonna be showing you a special thing that I'm gonna do for these cookies to make them taste just a little bit better. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Before I go over the ingredients for this recipe, I just wanna mention a question, an answer to a question I get a lot, is where do we get the written recipe? So click below this video, you'll see an area down below this where it says show more. Click that and it'll open up the description box and you'll find the written recipe down there along with a lot of other information regarding my channel. All right, so we're gonna need some flour and I'm using gluten-free flour here. You can use regular flour if you like. Baking soda. I have some dark brown sugar that we want to firmly pack, molasses, cinnamon, some cloves. Now for our triple hit on the, on the ginger, we're using ground ginger. I'm using fresh ginger. Now with the fresh ginger, you're going to want to peel it first with a spoon and then use a microplane to go ahead and, and grate out about a tablespoon of what you need. For the last type of ginger, we're going to be using crystallized ginger. Now, that is very sticky, and so I had a challenge trying to chop that up into small pieces, which is what you want to do. So the best thing I found is to sprinkle sugar over it as you're chopping. Now we'll also need one egg, a little bit of salt, some butter, and some vanilla extract. So here's what I'm doing in this recipe to make it a little bit different and to bring out some really good flavor. We're gonna take our butter, and I'm gonna place it into a stainless steel saucepan. And we're gonna turn the flame up to medium, medium heat. Now, we're gonna brown our butter so that it, what it does is it adds a nice uh, distinct flavor to it, like a nutty flavor. It's just a little bit different, adds a little more dimension to the flavor, if you will. And so we're gonna brown it slowly over medium heat and you want to stir it and watch it. Don't walk away from this for one second because our butter can burn just incredibly fast. Now we're going to start out on medium heat and then I'm going to be turning it down as it goes because like I said it can burn you know just within a few seconds. Now you want to stir this regularly. right? Just keep it moving. You can see it'll start to foam up a little bit as well. Now you also want to have a little dish or a bowl, or I'm using this Pyrex dish here, that I'm going to pour this into because once it, it's done, you're going to want to pour it out of the pan right away. So when you pour this into the bowl, make sure you scrape out all those beautiful brown bits. So here's our brown butter. Get a look at that. Nice and brown. That's where the flavor is. That's what's going to add a new dimension to these cookies and make them just really taste great really hot yet so again we're gonna have to let this cool for about 15 minutes 20 minutes maybe it's hard it's very hot to touch so we'll move into just getting our all of our dry ingredients in the same bowl and get that ready to go our butter's almost cooled off enough to work with but before we work with that i'm gonna just combine the flour the baking soda the cinnamon and the cloves and the salt together so everything's nicely combined and that way everything's evenly distributed so just give it a nice toss now we're going to take our brown butter and pour it into a big mixing bowl and make sure you get all that brown stuff off the bottom of the cup because that of course is where all the flavor is now to that we're going to add our brown sugar so break it up with your hand a little bit and then we're going to use a mixer and we're just going to mix that up. Now it's not going to whip up uh, because we had melted the butter, so it'll be, you know, it'll look just like this right here. All right, next in we're going to add the molasses. So just spoon that in. Let's crack our egg and get that in there. Let's toss in just a little bit of vanilla extract. 
It helps bring out the sweetness. Toss that. Gotta, oh, I also have to add that ginger to the flour mixture. I forgot to do that. Toss that in. Now I'm going to toss in the fresh ginger and mix that in. So now we're going to take the mixture and just combine everything up really well. All right, next comes our, our flour mixture, and we're just going to add a couple of tablespoons or a couple of these big heaping spoons, I should say, to the batter, and then we'll mix it in at a time. Halfway through, I like to add the ginger, the, the can, you know, the uh, crystallized ginger, and try and break it up and sprinkle it in with your hands, because it wants to clump together. Okay. Now I'll add some more flour. Mix that up. And so you end up with a nice dough like this. And then now I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let that heat up while I'm making uh, little balls out of this to place on our cookie sheet. I have a baking sheet covered here with parchment paper. Uh, I like to use that just to help keep it from sticking. And you can use scoopers like this one here. You can make little scoops depending on the size of the cookie you want. So we'll just scoop these out and you just make little balls and place them on your paper. Now sometimes I find they don't, if, if my dough is refrigerated, they don't spread out very much. They stay pretty mounded. So if you want to, we can experiment here. Well, I'll flatten this one out and we'll see the difference between the two, um, depending on how flat you like your cookie. Let me get an idea. And these are going to cook in the oven for about, you know, 10 to 11 minutes, just depending on your oven. Here's our cookies right out of the oven, nice and hot. It smells amazing in here. And we're going to let these cool for a couple of minutes before we take them off. So you can see here um, that they, you know, I left them in for 11 minutes. I went, started with 10, then I looked at them and I said, no, nah, another minute should do it. Um, and you can see here the one that I flattened out, it stayed flat. The others are still a little bit more mounding. So it just depends on how you like your cookie to look. All right, I'm ready to try one. They come right off of there. They're beautiful. They're warm. That's oh, what's what's not to like here. Mm. I just love a soft, chewy cookie. This is it. The flavor is perfect. It's just the right amount of sweetness, just the right amount of ginger. The three types are perfect. And I think that the brown butter really gives it another dimension that you're going to love. That flavor, that little bit of nuttiness. It's just, it's subtle, but it's there. So, so good, guys. Try these. I think you're going to love them. Uh, and share them. If you know a ginger lover, have them try these. They're going to love them. They are really good. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button at the end of the video and the bell next to it. That's the notification bell that will notify you when new videos come out every week. And I don't want you to miss any. So thanks again for watching. Uh, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think if you're going to try these. I'd love to hear about it. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.